Hello, Terry Bailey again, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, speaking in a little series of lessons about the kingdom moving forward through times of trouble. We have looked at the prophecy of Zechariah and how it was a time of war and upset in the Persian Empire that returned the Israelites to their homeland. We have looked at the book of Habakkuk and seen how the answer to the prophet's prayer for justice was trouble arising from across the border with Chaldea. We have looked at the book of Acts and saw how in a time of personal disappointment, frustration, and confusion, Paul was moved to exactly the spot where he should be in order that the kingdom of God might advance. I'd like to look at another little passage today from Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. But when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law, and we might receive adoption as sons. Because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Therefore you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then an heir through God. Here is an example much larger than those that I have spoken of in the past three sessions It says that God sent Jesus in the fullness of time. Now, if we were to take the time, which we can't, I believe I could explain to you how the fullness of time meant lots and lots of trouble for lots and lots of people, wars and conquest and death and famine and persecution and plague and evil and justice and corruption, all these things had happened and God had worked through those circumstances to shape the world for the exact right moment to send his son. And because Jesus obeyed God, set aside his heavenly glory and stepped into the midst of all that trouble. We are no longer slaves, but sons by adoption of God Almighty. Well, you and I are not Jesus Christ, but I feel I can assure you of this. If we will step into the times of trouble in obedience to the mandate of God, Souls will be saved by adoption. We should look at this time of trouble and understand that it requires us only to step into the midst of it and preach the gospel for these things to happen. If you would pray with me again. Father, make us obedient as your son Jesus was obedient And let the results be that more and more people cease to be slaves to this world and its sin and become your sons and daughters by adoption. Help us to know that the gospel was made for troubled times such as this. And we ask it again in Jesus' name.